this is how you can use the Google Sheets API in Discord.js version 14. So let's go ahead and get started. I would like to say that memberships now are available on my channel. You can get the basic super god tier and custom bot tier. If you buy the super god tier or custom bot tier, you will have access to paste bins, meaning you can go ahead and copy all of the code from my videos into your bot instead of having to actually type it out. And if you go ahead and buy the custom bot tier, me and my team will code you a personalized Discord bot as long as we can actually do it and it meets the Discord terms of service. If this is interesting to you, go ahead and click the link in the description or click join next to my name. And let's go ahead and get started with the Google Sheets API. So the first thing that you're gonna wanna do is go ahead and click the link in the description to get started. We're gonna be using SheetDB for this and this is what we're gonna be using to push and get data to our Google Sheets document. So we can go ahead and click login using Google account at the very top. After you've logged in with your Google account, you're gonna wanna go ahead and click create new API. The first thing that you're gonna see is that you do need an actual Google spreadsheet URL for this to work. So go to a new tab and go to sheets.google.com. Once you're here, go ahead and click blank at the very top. And then it's gonna go ahead and load a new spreadsheet. So just go ahead and give it a name. I'm gonna do YouTube backend. Now we can actually go ahead and copy this and we can go ahead and paste it here. One thing to keep in mind is this Google account that you used to sign into SheetDB has to have access to this sheet document for it to work. Just go ahead and copy your endpoint URL by just clicking on it right here. Then we can go ahead and minimize this and go over to community or moderation, doesn't really matter, and create a sheetdb.js command just like that. Now we can actually just go ahead and make a command so we can do const slash command builder and then we can do equals require and we'll just do discord.js then we can do module.exports equals we'll open this up data new slash command builder we can say name for the name we can just do sheet db just like that then for the description we can say sheet db tutorial now keep in mind you can use this for pretty much any command you like for example if you're using a report system using a model and you want to submit all of that information to the google sheets that would be something you could use this for so we can add a comma we can do async execute we'll do interaction and we can go ahead and open this up at the very top we're going to do const axios equals require and then we can just get axios like that just keep in mind you are just going to have to do npm i axios in your terminal for this to work all right so now we can come down here and we can just go ahead and start off by sending a message so we can do await interaction dot reply we will say content we can say something like this is working and then we can just make this informal just like this. Before we continue, I just want to say that I have made a website for my Discord server, the Discord Coding Lounge, as you can see right here. This website offers information on the Discord Coding Lounge as well as coding helper applications. So if you think you're qualified, go ahead and click the link in the description below or just go ahead and check out this website to support the community. All right, so now we're actually going to use the AXIOS package that we got up here. To start off, we're going to come down here and we're going to say AXIOS.post. And then in here, we're gonna go ahead and paste that sheet DB URL that we got earlier. Once you're in here, we can go ahead and add a comma and we can go ahead and open this up further. We're gonna go ahead and say data. For our data, we're gonna open this up as well. Now in the data, this is very important. You're gonna wanna make sure you use specific keywords for this to work. So the ones I'm gonna use, it doesn't really matter what they are, you just have to remember them. So it is gonna be name. I'm gonna use age, for example. You could do email, it doesn't really matter. Whatever information you're trying to post to the Google Sheets document, you wanna have down here. So for this, I'm just gonna go ahead and input name test and then I can add a comma. We can come down here and do age test, add a comma again, and then we can do email test, just so I can make this really clear. But keep in mind, you could add a string option, make that a variable, and then input that in here if you wanted to submit something into the sheet document that a user could customize. All right, so now we're gonna actually go ahead and restart the bot and test this out. All right, so over in the Discord server, I'm just gonna run our sheet db command, just like that. And as you can see, it's gonna say this is working. If we go back over to the browser and we go over to the YouTube backend, as you can see, nothing is going to happen, which is weird because it did say this is working. However, you're gonna notice if you go over to your console, it's gonna say error, spreadsheet is empty, fill in the first row column names and all that extra stuff. So basically what that error means is these columns have have to be filled with the exact name you used right here for the actual backend to work. For example, if I wanted to put the name test into the spreadsheet, all I have to do is make a column called name and same for age and same for email, just like that. 
Now, if we were to actually try this again, it's going to actually put all of the specified information into this document. If we do sheet DB, just like this, as you can see in the document, it's going to go ahead and input name test, age test, and email test. All right, so let's say we actually wanted to have a user input this in here instead of us inputting it into the code. What we would do is we would add a string option and we would do option arrow function option dot set name and we would just make this name and then we can do dot set description and this is a name and then we can also make this required just like this then we can go ahead and copy this for the age and for the email just like this and we're going to do it one more time like i said for the email and we can change this to email and we can add a comma just like this now we can come down here and actually define all of this so we can do const name equals interaction to options dot get string and for the string we're going to do name then we can actually go ahead and copy all of this and paste it down here we're going to say age and we can get the string of age and we can do email and we can get email as well now what we can do is in here we're actually going to go ahead and replace everything in here and we're just going to do name and then we can put that comma back we can do that again down here but this time we're actually going to replace it with the age variable and then down here we can go ahead and replace this with the email variable as well so now if we were to actually restart the bot, this would actually upload all of the inputted information into the sheets. So over in the Discord server, if I do sheet DB, it's going to ask me for the name. So this will be Mr. J Awesome and the age, I'll just put in a random number, a couple letters, it doesn't really matter. And same for here as well. If we go ahead and send it, as you can see, it's going to say this is working. And if we go over to the sheet, it's going to go ahead and say the name, the random numbers I put in, and it's going to put in the random letters I put in for the email. Now, like I mentioned earlier, you could do something like Esky's report command where it's going to open up a model and you can put in all of this information and then it goes ahead and sends all of that information into a backend spreadsheet so you can access it later. If this worked for you, go ahead and drop a like and subscribe. If it didn't, go ahead and join the server in the description below and we'll be able to help you out. And with that, I will see you guys in the next video.